looking for the signs of life that still exist and to share them with everyone. Everyone can kind of get a feel for what, what it was like to work here and what it was like to be part of this amazing place. You wonder what's in there. You know, you drive by an abandoned building and you want to know, wonder what's inside there. And then take an amazing place with a lot of history, like the Pabst or Schlitz. Who wouldn't want to see what's in there? My name is Paul Bialis and I am a photographer. Um, it's, it's a hobby, but it's really growing and uh, continues to get bigger and bigger. I really enjoy it. About four years ago now, uh, I was driving through Milwaukee and found these buildings downtown here, uh, the Pabst Brewery. The buildings are amazing, and that became my first project. And took a lot of pictures down here, and it, it, it turned into something I felt I really had to share, and it turned into a book. I wanted it to sit on my coffee table at home and, and let people enjoy it. And then somebody else said, well, I'd like a book, and then another person. And as all of a sudden 100 people wanted books, I started spending more time making the book because more people were going to see it. Well, the first thing was the pap sign and the look of the buildings. I mean, because it's, it's the stained, Cream City bricks that are outside of them and they're all dark now. It, it just felt like you're in the early 1900s, late 1800s and there's no place else you can get that feeling. Once I had taken a lot outside, had some great photos, I had, had to get inside. I really wanted to know what was in there. And when I got in, what I saw was amazing. I felt like an investigator. I'm trying to find things in these photos that bring to life these buildings, the employees, the stories they told. So a lot of the images you'll see are the, uh, maybe it's a pep sticker on something or you know an employee, there's one of them where there's a, you know, like the employee of the month or it's like an overtime hour sheet. There, there are a lot of rooms that are, that kind of appear just as when the workers left. And, uh, the break room image is probably my favorite in the Pabst book. We have the lockers. I love that this one has her name on it, Esther. This is Esther's locker. Louise is over there. All the signage on the lockers here from the employees. You know, one element on the table there was or is a Harnish Baker ice cube tray. There's an empty pack of cigarettes on the table, a Pabst bottle, there's a steak escape mug. Um, there's a calendar in the corner that says 1985 on it still. Here, look at, there's still things in the lockers over here. We want to tell the, the story of the employees, so how can we do that? You know, by looking at, taking the picture, including the table and including the lockers, and it's going to tell the story of the workers, their break time. I mean, it's just as they left it when they walked out. That's part of the reason I did the whole project. I, n I never got to take a tour through the Pabst Brewery. And being able to kind of get a feeling for what the workers were like, that's something I strive for in the book, telling the story of, of the people of Paps that you know, we don't have anymore. Paul came here, I think, just uh, curious as a, a customer in our gift shop, and uh, as he said, just fell in love with the buildings and was surprised to see that there was one open and came in one day. And he's such a, a likable guy, we quickly hit off a friendship. And then he mentioned that he'd love to take photographs. And I was sort of surprised, because I thought he'd be taking ornate pictures of some of the most beautiful spaces. And I was quite surprised to see almost the exact opposite of him looking for the worst peeling paint, the worst situations. And I started to say, well, gee, I thought this was going to be about the beauty of the place but uh, I came to see the beauty in capturing those peeling paint type pictures. The infirmary is like something out of a horror movie and uh, that's a really neat place. And you see these old drapes and they still say Pabst on them and the bed is old and you know there's broken tiles on the floor and it, to me it was just an amazing place to stand and that was just walking into that room for the first time and seeing what was there and what could be saved on film and the story it told to me was an amazing, amazing thing. And when I finished Pabst, a historian contacted me and said, I can get you access into the Schlitz Brew House, which is set to be demolished any month now. Kind of take it or leave it. 
and I thought this is perfect, you know, it, it fits so well. So I dropped everything I was doing, grabbed the camera, went down and started shooting. The same feeling, you walk in and it's just this giant open area and what was amazing about it is I'm walking up the steps of this just amazing building and, and you're taking in all the history and it's just silent, you know, you're the only one there. And when you get up to the top, there's this huge American flag hanging over in the brew house. It was good to see it be photographed and, and uh, uh, the way Paul did it. Uh, you could actually smell the beer in, in some of these pictures, pick up the aroma. And it, the pictures do say a lot, and I'm very proud of what he's done. One photo is a picture of the brew house looking up at the skylight. The skylight was a very important aspect of the architectural history of that, that brew house, as it was with most buildings built in that era. The skylight was still intact at the time Paul took these pictures. Another thing that, that stood out was the ornate ironwork of the steps. It was a multi-level building and it was an ornate ironwork that really set this building apart from most other buildings built in that era. I remember just sitting down, you know, both in the Pabst Brew House and the Schlitz Brew House, and you kind of just, just sitting in, in the quiet, giant room, and you kind of just take it all in, it, and it's just a wonderful feeling. I hope that, you know, they get a feeling of how great these breweries were in Milwaukee, and what it was like during that time period when these were the, you know, the largest breweries in the world, and you couldn't go to a dinner or, or not know someone who didn't work for the brewery. And what was that like? You know, what was this time period like? What were the breweries like? As, you know, another takeaway is like the ornateness of the buildings. You know, as you'll see in the photographs, think of the late 1800s. You know, our forefathers, what did they? How did they build? You know, when they built something, it was going to last a thousand years and there was going to be decorative, stylative things put in all of it and intricacy. And this book, both books, preserve that.